<laughs> what is it, Jamie, what is it like when you're under, you, I assume you designed the tornado shield. Yes. So what, what, are you, what is going through your head when you're under a tornado shield and you're being, uh, you're being spanked by wind? <laughs> uh, pretty much that I'm about to die. Uh, and I would point out that that wasn't the end of our trial of the tornado shield. I, it, uh, we, we went a lot faster than that. Oh, you did? How, how are we allowed to say how fast you go through? Well, I guess you have to watch. Uh, a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. I'm just curious. Um, all of these stunts are safe to try at home, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, if, uh, if you have your own 747, yes. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, the, the, being inside that thing in high winds, it, it just, it, you had the distinct feeling uh, there, or certainty that if something went wrong, it would just be like being at the end of a whip crack. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it snap your back. Um, it, it was really serious. I mean, when you're in situations like that, is, are, is, is the thought going through your head like, I really shouldn't do this anymore, or are, are, are you just too stricken with fear? Well, you know, it, it's a funny thing when you build something, you design something and you build it, and you know, you go through all of the exercises, well, I'm going to put this here and do this this way and that that way, and then you're inside it in extreme conditions like this, and you go, well, gee, I figured it out, and it ought to work, <laughs> you know? And so you just kind of focus on that, you know? It's like, a, I mean, think about when you're in a, an automobile hurtling down the highway at 80, 70 miles an hour, whatever it is you're doing. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's like standing on the edge of a cliff. It only is a little slip of the wrist and you're, you know, it's all over. <laughs> uh, Sleep tight. Sleep tight. <laughs> the, you know, what you do is, you, well, they've engineered the car right, you know? And so, so, you know, I guess I'm an engineer, and so I guess I, you know, I survived that thing, so I did a good job. Yeah, but you guys are, you, you guys are like adventure scientists because you actually test your own inventions with your lives. Uh, well, I'll tell you something that's not quite totally apparent in that episode that I like. Uh, you know, Jamie and I don't really like each other. Um, <laughs> we, we get along fine, but it's not based on, our relationship is based on deep affection. Uh, but, you know, in a situation like or even shallow affection, uh, but in a situation like that, Jamie's in a tornado shield, there's, uh, there's a comm set they have made for like aircraft carriers and jets and crap like that where it's, you, know, you can hear somebody and there's only one channel for it and uh, that channel goes between me and Jamie because really when push comes to shove, when these things hit, get to the quick, there are, we've worked through all the safety parameters, and we've really tried to make sure that we're safe, but it's really each other that we trust to, to keep us safe. You know, I'm the one who's going to yell, cut it, if I feel like anything's out of control. Well, uh, speaking of Batman, do you uh, tell him about the, uh, your, your thoughts on me with my little pulley Oh uh, Yeah, no, this is great. So, you know, we did the, <laughs> Batman's our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> see the episode, I had built one of these things like, you know, Batman takes his pistol and shoots up in the air and there's a dart that sticks into the concrete somehow. We haven't figured that part out yet. But, uh, you know, and he has a little handheld winch and up he goes. And so I built this thing which was more or less a uh, handheld winch that fit within my sleeve and uh, up I went. So he went and he had designed the thing, it was this massively powerful little motor, and he designed it to be able to winch him up all the way up on this very fine, like almost spider wire called Spectra Cable. Uh, and he got all the way to the top, we were like high-fiving each other. He's on a belay safety going between, uh, to two people down on the ground, so nothing can go wrong. He's not going to fall, but he's gotten all the way to the top and he's under tension, and there's no reverse on the thing. <laughs> So it, there's no way he's going to like unwind it to get back down, and he's so hot we can't actually take his weight with the, with the, with the belay rope. So I go, you're going to have to cut after, you know, we take about five minutes yelling up and down to realize what, what's going on. And I go, you're going to have to cut it. And he goes, okay, and pulls out his pocket knife and cuts it. <laughs> Without looking down or looking at me, you won't have forgotten this, is this going to be okay? And as he cuts it, of course, he cuts it, and his hand, which weighs like 15 pounds with the motor and the batteries on it, smashes him in the face and breaks his nose. It's, it's, it's off this way, just a tiny amount. Yeah. It's a uh, Owen Wilson trainer. <laughs> hey, come on, man. What are you going to make fun of Owen Wilson?
Wilson, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know impressions. That was terrible when you're right. Uh, <laughs> Carrie, I, I, I want to I talk for a second really quickly, and then we'll open up the floor to questions, because uh, I'm sure you guys have a few. But um, I, I did some uh, interstitials for a show that you're doing for the Science Channel called Head Rush, which is in, supremely exciting, because you're, you're reaching out to, to teens and getting them interested in science. Well, I think this is just the natural evolution of Mythbusters, since uh, you know the amazing side effect is they're using it in classrooms, and people are actually learning from it in spite of the entertainment. So we have taken Mythbusters, taken out all of the commercials, and you know, where the commercials would be in the tradition of like Bill Nye and Mr. Wizard, we're doing scientific demonstrations um, and quizzes for aiming at middle school kids, and we're going to have the show on the Science Channel from 4 to 5 p.m right when they get out of school, so we can hopefully keep the learning going. And uh, it's, it's all part of the STEM initiative, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And Sorry, I only just now read this card in front of me that says, be aware that members of your audience may be under 18 years of age, which I think means don't curse Adam. <laughs> I, I thought it was actually more of a heads up to Tori. <laughs> Just remember, it's cool for adults. <laughs> you should seem older and cooler, and you'll yeah, be friends. Um, guys, uh, I would uh, I would love to open the floor up to questions right now, so that uh, so that you guys can find out exactly what what, what you want to know. So look at how um, big this room is. It's insane. Hi, you guys in the back. Can I try an experiment? Like, no, can I? Yeah, no, I just always wanted to try this. Can we get everyone in the in the thing in the audience to go boop all at once? One, two, three. Boop. That's lovely, thank you. What Will you that sound play? stupid? Myth busted! <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, yes, sir, what is your name? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, tall. Oh, nice to meet you, tall. That's a, that's a funny name. name. Yeah. No, my name's Dave. That's a qual. Okay, Dave. There we go. This tall works. Dave. Um, I've been uh, doing demolitions in the army for the last eight years, so I pace. So I pay special attention to your episodes where things go boom. Um, but there was one myth that has never sat well with me that you guys busted. I'm sorry. Because I great first question. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> Uh, it, it, the alkali metals myth. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the part that never sat well with me, you drop the grenade into the bottom of the toilet, and the toilet went boom. But when you, uh, when you uh, activated the alkali metals in the, in the water, it uh, was on the surface, because you popped the vial and it cracked on the surface of the water, so you didn't get that hydrostatic shock that would have quite possibly damaged the toilet enough to not to have the myth confirmed. Right. It's funny, he doesn't look like a nerd. <laughs> you, think, you think he's just showing up to punch Careful. people at comedy? He's, <laughs> he's tall. Careful. I think you, he's a big guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think you might be entirely right about that. Um, I honestly, I, this is one of the myths where I'm drawing a blank as to the experimental progress in that. Did you guys do the toilet? I think we revisited yeah, we, it. Yeah. In we, a bathtub. Yeah, we destroyed and, the bathtub. Did you see that? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was pretty intense. But I mean, you know, we can go back and try it again. I mean, I'm never against blowing up toilets. 